All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, so we're at home today, and we are here in the garage. And today I need to shuffle all my junk around. Uh, starting to get cold here overnight. Last night it was like 35 was the low, and everything was frosted over. So I'd like to get that van inside uh, for overnights or whatever. I just need to take take advantage of the nicer weather and get this stuff done while I still have a chance. Uh, so boat needs to go to storage. Van needs to come in the garage. And then we're also going to empty out some of the stuff from the old truck, put it in the new one, like some of the safety junk, um, jumper cables, battery pack, if I can fit it in there, uh, first aid kit, fire extinguisher, try to get the essential junk in there. Uh, I mentioned in the walk around video that there is like a little space that you could put a board on for storage. I think I have an appropriate board back there in the corner, so we might give that a shot today. Uh, but to start with, I just need to shuffle everything around, get some stuff in the street, get the truck backed up, and get the boat out of here. There is some junk underneath of it, um, but it should pull out over all of that, and then I can worry about it later. Those big mug flaps that I had on the old truck, those aren't going to fit on the new one because they're too tall, so I could trim that if I feel like it's necessary, but for the time being, we just need to get junk moved. Um, the van should fit in here did some measuring I think it'll be fine with the table right there and with the space here I think I have enough room we'll see I hope I don't have to screw around with trimming that table end but uh, yeah let's just get after it all right all disaster averted I had to go to the store and get a battery for this key fob I went to unlock the van doors I haven't driven it in a week and it didn't work and I didn't want to just open the door by hand because the alarm would have got off uh, and that would have sucked so it's working now though enough pull it out check the air pressures and the tires I'm sure it probably needs air send her on down the road here All right, I grabbed those boards and I put them in the back of the truck also, along with the bumper that's in the boat. Um, but I think we're ready to roll. Got the missus with me in case I need help getting this boat into the storage unit because uh, they're kind of close together. There's no way I'm going to be able to back it in there. So, uh, but first time towing, 
let's just do our due diligence and put her in tow haul mode because it's kind of neat. I'll get the air conditioning turned on here in a second for you. Tow haul, there we go. You can see the trailer there. Can you see it? Yep. Um, I know that there's some something you can do and you can get rid of that full view not available sticker, but it is annoying that that's on there. This is going back to the house and I have to stack this stuff up a little bit better. Uh, but it's just the van stuff and my ice shack. So, all right. Let's hope that's enough room. Should be, and I can probably angle it in here a little bit if I need to, but uh, I'm not gonna be able to back that in here. I don't think. I don't know, I'll try. Hopefully I don't run it into anything. All right, boat's in here with all the junk. It's pushed back pretty far. There's plenty of room on the sides and plenty of room in the front here to get her closed up. So see you next year, I guess. I'm gonna get that other trailer stuck on. We'll get out of here. All right, well, we've made it home. Uh, I've got everything cleared out here. Probably could have taken some more of my junk, but this is good. The van should fit in here. I did a little measuring. Should fit without moving anything. We'll find out. I did take my little sign down that I've had outside the garage since we moved in. Yeah, because it would probably hit the top of the van. So, unless I came way over, but we can hang that up in here somewhere. So the wife's gonna watch and make sure I don't back into anything, but I'm gonna try to back it in. And that way I have access to the passenger doors and I could mess around inside and get in and out that way, so. You're good. Just fits. Plenty of room. There we go. The van is stuffed in there. And uh, I got about as close, close over here as I possibly could. We do need to take it back out. I'll use it again before the end of the year, but it needs washed before we put it away. But I can go ahead and shut it off. It's 
It's definitely full now. Definitely full, but. All right, I'm gonna get that trailer moved quick. I'll get back to you guys. All right, all the junk is moved. Trailer is in the driveway. And uh, we're gonna see if we can swap that or install that little board I was talking about back here. Uh, still have a couple of things in the back here from uh, camping. That stuff will probably stay in here for now. Um, but back on the bottom of these seats here, on some of the, I mentioned in the walk around video, some of the higher trim levels, they have a little board that runs across both sides. Uh, and I don't know if that's plastic or metal or how they do it, uh, but you can see it's not super tall. So I have a one by four and I'm gonna cut it to 54 inches ish. I think I'll take another measurement. And then there's a couple of holes. So we'll just use the middle holes cause I have some quarter 20 bolts and that'll keep stuff from sliding around back here. And then when you put the seats down or whatever, it'd be fine. Uh, because I'd like to be able to toss like that fire extinguisher, first aid kit, jumper cables, and some of that junk back here. Since we don't have a ton of, uh, we don't have, well, I guess we have the little one, but we don't have any armrest storage. So let's go ahead and knock that out quick. I went ahead and fished the board out that's back there. It's select piece of pine. It's nice and dirty and dusty, but this will work fine. I'll probably paint it black. We'll see if I like it, see if it's bendy or whatever. The Ford kit's like 40 bucks and I have this board and I've got the bolts over there, so it'll be fine. Um, I prefer to paint it black, but I've got a trip tomorrow and I'm not gonna go ahead and paint this and then smell that all through this trip. So we'll just leave it raw for now, but uh, let me take a couple of measurements and we'll get this chopped and see if we can get mounted in there. I should have a saw right over yonder. Do this outside so I don't get sawdust everywhere in here. So it is 54 inches. Will work perfectly. Man, this is all dirty. It already has some paint and junk on it, but that end looks all right. All right, so if you're freehanding something like this and you want to get like a good straight cut, uh, if you hold this on here and then get yourself lined up where you need to be, which is right there, if you hold this with one hand, you can use that as a fence to get a good cut. Just make sure you don't cut yourself and know what you're doing, you know, and engage your safety squints. Nice straight edge. And bam. I don't know if we even need to worry about putting bolts on the middle ones. We'll probably just do the two ends and call it good for for now. If I want to do that, because uh, I'll probably take it back out and slap a coat of paint on it if it works out fine. But we'll uh, we'll just. Drill a couple of holes in it and mount her on there. And now it'll keep my junk from moving around. Ideally, a 
inch and a half screw would have been perfect for this, but two inches is what I've got, so that's what we're using. Alright, let's hope our hole lines up over there. Perfect. Alright, let me get grab a wrench and a screwdriver. We'll get this tightened down nice and tight. not worried about trying to sand this or doing any of that stuff now like I said I'll uh, if I find this satisfactory I'll just paint it black It'd be the easiest way to do it I was a little worried it'd be all bendy but that's perfect let's see what it looks like when we put our seats down put this down in there got it sitting there Oh, it comes right up to the bottom of the seat. That's nice. That's really nice. I didn't know how it would sit under there. Well, yeah, there we go. Perfect little storage cubbies. Uh, same over there. All right, I'm gonna grab some junk out of the old truck and we'll stuff her in here. <laughs> I've got Bisquick and get gravy in this one. Won't need the oil, I might take that. I take this. This is for my WeBoost antenna that's folded over. It's up on the roof. Uh, we may end up, pull, well, we will for sure pull that off. Right now I don't have anywhere to mount it, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, just 12 volt extension. Wipes. Like Yahtzee game, nothing in there. We'll probably leave this in here. I'll get a different type of radio or something for the other one. Um, probably got some junk in here. I don't know if any of it's really necessary to take. Maybe like flashlight, another pocket knife, extra sunglasses, extra deodorant. Not, not always a good idea to have that with you. I don't need that anymore. Tape measure. I don't really need any of that right now. And I don't really need this phone holder either because uh, I don't need to be able to like see maps. We might throw this on the floor though, but let's see if I can get this up without spilling everything. What do we got under here? Uh, first aid kit, a little shovel. We might toss that in there. We're definitely gonna take the first aid kit though. Put that stuff back. What we got back here? Those are just pull straps. I don't think I need those with me right now. Yeah, see there's more of the WeBoost antenna stuff. I've got a heater. This is just for firewood. That's empty right now. Uh, but we will take these. And if we can fit this somewhere, I guess we'll take it. I don't know if that'll fit back there, but there's a jump box and a, it's got a little air compressor on it too. See if we can fit that in there. I don't even remember what's in the back of this stuff. Probably use these seat covers in there, but uh, just a few extra bungee cords. Not too worried about that right now either. Uh, let's head on over to the other side and see what's over there. Octane booster, don't need that with me. Fishing stuff. Might toss the gloves in there. Let's see, chair, which I realized I forgot that I broke a leg on that thing. Fishing pole, we'll take this. I don't know how I'm gonna mount that. We'll probably just put that underneath the seat, but it'll be fine. And what do we got over here? Oh. Some water shoes. 
we've got our shovel, which that's not going to fit anywhere in there now appropriately. We'll have to wait until we build like a, something like this, but it has to be removable. Got a couple of shepherd's hooks. We've got a pie iron. Uh, we'll toss that in there. We're going to need that. Always roll with an umbrella. We'll take that. We've got rain gear. This should be... I think it's just a jacket. and We'll toss that in there. And then what do I have in the back of this one? Anything? I don't even have anything in there. Sad thing is... I just replaced this one, I thought. I think it was pretty new. I don't know. Nothing back here. I think that's all we need out of the cab. Man, now I feel like I just need to try to sell this on Marketplace or something since... I remember right, these things are like five to seven bucks a shot. Or uh, I guess keep that, keep them for the motorcycles because the motorcycles need uh, 91 also. But all right, let's move a bunch of this junk into the other one. I think that jump pack's gonna fit under there. Maybe, no. I think that's probably about it for that. A chair. I don't know if we'll leave the chair under there. It's not a permanent, it's not gonna be a permanent thing, but the rest of this is pretty permanent. Uh, where's my first aid kit? This might actually be smarter to put under the middle seat up there, but it'll probably fit back here. Fit under there. It does fit. That might be it for under there. This is gloves can go under here. Don't need super easy access to that. It's nice, it all fits perfectly. It's crazy, I still run all these totes in here. For right now, we'll probably just leave it at that. I could definitely stuff more under this side, but uh, as far as you know, first first real road trip with this thing, I think that's pretty jamming, dude. It's nice. It's all out of the way. And if I got a few torts like that, like. They make under seat storage bins, but I want to be able to lift the seat up and have the whole floor. So that's not going to work for me, but yeah, that's pretty legit. All right. Let's move some of that crap. So I really wish I had this center console. It would be so nice because all this stuff kind of has to chill in the door, I guess probably just rattle and annoy me. Guess we can put some of this under here. Yeah, that first aid kit would fit under there, I'm sure. 
need to put this stuff in a bag because yeah it's just gonna slide around and annoy me but for the time being that's just gonna chill there I think the last thing that we need to just grab out of here and make sure we have with us is that fire extinguisher oh that shovel I guess might as well if we can make it fit this can probably go over here Oh, and I already broke something in the truck. I'll show you guys. Although, maybe it was broken when I bought it and I never noticed. Look at that. Just the, just the little corner of my mirror there is busted. So that sucks. Uh... These are power mirrors, but they're not fancy, so I'm assuming you can just replace the whole thing. You might be able to just replace this lens, but I don't know. Maybe I did it. Maybe it was like that when I got it. But uh, If they were super fancy mirrors with heaters and blind spot and cameras and all that stuff, it might be a little bit more to even change the glass out. It's another plus side of these cheap base trucks because even the headlights, if you get up to the fancy models, they've got LEDs. The headlights themselves are LED. And when you're driving, they turn a little bit. Like if you turn a corner, the headlight will turn. So I can only imagine that those are probably, I bet, 1500 bucks a piece. So it'll be a whole lot cheaper to replace this if I break one. So there are definitely plus sides to having a base model. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this off. I don't know if we're gonna try to like, pull that mount off. I suppose I could put it on the back of the and I just don't know where I'm going to put this in there. I don't feel like I need super fast access to this as long as I know where it is. I don't really want to just like ride around with it chilling up here. If it like fit perfectly in a cup holder, I'd consider it. But um, Big old dangle nugget of nonsense hanging there, so that's cool. If I had a, if there was a mount, like mounting it right there wouldn't be absolutely terrible. Cause it's pretty well flush, but that's not gonna work. Huh, maybe it just needs to ride over here these can get mushed maybe I just need to move that too I probably should just move that we're just gonna let this thing chill back here for now I know it's not the most appropriate way to carry a fire extinguisher but at least I have one and these will kind of Hopefully keep it tight and not super rattly because that'll drive me nuts, but okay. Got to get used to pulling these handles. Let's see if this will go up front. Heave ho. Yeah, I'm going to have to find better spots for this stuff that's under here. This or it needs like just the like the drawer coating on the bottom. So everything doesn't just roll around and rattle around. I suppose if a cop wanted to be a douche nozzle, it could get me for a concealed weapon because there's a pocket knife in there, but not super worried. And the wrong side button on this thing. Oh, it's so hard to do. Complain, complain, complain. All right. I think that's probably it for now. We got some stuff moved out of the old one. And we got some stuff moved into the new one. And we got some stuff moved out of the garage in the driveway. We got some stuff moved into the garage in the driveway. Overall, it was just stuff that I needed to do. That's how it is off uh, when we're not out camping. We have 
actual things we need to get done. Now I gotta clean all the junk off my bench. Probably figure out a spot to hang my sign in here. Uh, it's not in the way. There's the toolkit that was in the truck. I might grab a couple of things out of there, but I'm not going to take that whole box with me. I'm definitely not as concerned about having all of those tools with me. I did throw that in the van. I had that for the last trip that I went to Wisconsin just in case I needed it. Um, so we'll figure that out. Uh, there is more stuff in the truck. If you guys are following along for a long time in the... Underneath the hood, I have an ammo can where the secondary battery could go, and there's some straps and D-rings and stuff in there. But we're not going to worry about that yet. I'm not too worried about getting that thing stuck in the snow or anything quite yet. So we'll uh, we'll hold off on that uh, as I figure out better places to store things in there uh, and all that nonsense. Um, but I think I'm just going to go close this one out here. We did what we could and we got lots of stuff moved around and I'm satisfied with what we did for today. I've got a trip coming up that I think you guys are going to enjoy. It's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, as always, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.